Hey, what's up you TRK investors and money makers? Welcome back to the channel. We are going to review TRKA. What exactly happened last week because things are looking pretty bullish for TRKA. I'll be sharing what is the opportunity or what are the opportunities for TRKA because we, as you already know that we are up 108% uh, just year to date and which is amazing. Do not forget that whoever bought TRKA around 10 cents in the beginning of this year they had an opportunity for 7 to 8x. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it was up 750% just within three months. So take a look from 10 cents, it went all the way to 77 cents. And after that, we had some opportunities, we dropped back, but things are once again looking pretty promising. Don't forget that the market turbulence is also a part of the reason why TRKA had this turbulence. So you can always expect, but 23 cents is looking pretty promising. Let's take a look what happened in last five days. I will be sharing precisely what are the opportunities, where TRKA is heading, what you should think about in terms of EBITDA. We'll be reviewing their earning and revenue because that is looking pretty promising too. If you think about Q1 2022, we had a loss of 14.39 million when our revenue was 15.69 million. Now in Q3, we had 119 million in revenue. So from Q1, 15 million we went to 119 million which is huge uh, spike in terms of the revenue not only that our income was negative in q1 in 2021 14.39 million negative and we got back to 1.27 million dollars in net positive income on the balance sheet so this is looking pretty promising in q3 we saw 160 percent up in net income we saw the revenue was up year over year 40 1335 percent which is a huge jump so without a further ado hit the like button we need at least 150 likes on this video so we can share this information with more and more people subscribe to the channel because i will have another exciting stuff coming up for molen within next an hour or two because that is looking super promising with 10 billion dollars saudi arabia deal apparently now remember i am not a financial advisor nor i'm a certified professional but i do my due diligence and i like to share this information back with community hoping you can make informed financial financial decision. Clicking a like or subscribe doesn't really cost you anything, but it motivates me a lot. So make this channel at the least as the part of your due diligence and it should be helpful. In last five days, going back to Molin, we are down 6%. So pretty much flat for last one month, we are up 27%. So whoever after my last video bought it and they are making money uh, return on the investment, congratulations to all of you. Remember, your exit strategy is the most important uh, strategic decision that you want to take yourself. I like to sell when you get healthy profit, not everything, but partially. So either way, you can get your average down so you can dollar cost average. Number two, you can use that money for any other exciting opportunities because penny stock market is uh, full of excitement. You can make 2x, 3x, 4x just in matter of days that we have seen for TRKA. We have seen that for Molin. We have seen that for GTII, many stocks that I talk on my channel. If you haven't been watching some of the stocks, I always come up with some of the opportunities that you can cash out in very short period of time. On the flip side, you can lose 50, 60, 70% as well. Because again, like you, I do not have a crystal ball. So do your own due diligence. That's all I'm trying to say. 27% up, we went to 30 cents, so which is exciting. Now that's one thing I'm going to call out in this video um, as to what price point you should think. But what is shifting in terms of the sentiment for TRKA stock? We saw that after surging TRKA, as I mentioned, it went to 77 cents. We saw some of the downturns. Weighing risk against the reward, risk hungry investors shouldn't fully write off the digital marketing firm's merits as a speculative buy. And I 100% agree with this analysis from the uh, from the analyst that said wait for the additional development before taking plunge at TRKA and why this is super exciting is because this is a penny stock now again we are going into the penny stock zone that's 25 cents stock, stock can go to 99 cents per share very very soon so and people are talking about is TRKA 
is the next GameStop. And then there are some similarities I talked in my previous video. If you haven't watched that, watch that out because they have do both the stocks, G, uh, GME or GameStop and DRKA. They have some striking similarities, including cheap share price and the restructuring plans and heavy, heavy short volume. So write down in the comment section below if you believe that short squeeze is coming, write down bull in this comment section. If you're part of the bear army, write down bear in DRKA. If you think that DRKA will hit 35 cents next week, also write down 30 five cents and if you believe that it'll go to 18 cents back write down 18 cents in the comment section below but what you think uh, what you i think you should really understand is what trka is going to come up why trka stock plunged after their last earning because uh trka stock dropped about 26.85 percent that day another 38 percent the following day continued to slide further more after that now at a glance the market seems to be the result of a horrendous justifying cheap sharp decline in trka but i'll prove that in one second why you want to really understand what is going on in the dynamics because trka media group reported the record revenue of 187.9 million with the adjusted EBITDA of $5 million for the six months ended December 31st, 2022. And which is what I was talking about when I talked about this September 2022. So 120 million, give or take revenue. And the revenue is climbing up. So 6, 7 million in Q4 2021. In Q1 2022, 15 to 16 million. Q3, uh, or sorry, Q2, we saw that it went to 85 million. So take a look at the jump from 15 million to 85 million. Just I'm talking about revenue. And from June to September, the revenue jumped from 85 million to 120, close to 120 million. With the same price point or the, with the same revenue, we saw that there was a loss of 18 million that quickly turned into the net income of 1.27 million, which is what I'm thinking that you should pay attention because it can be profitable or largely profitable profitable very very soon now in this particular article and this article is uh, relatively pretty new ending december and december 31st 2022 a transition reporting from six months transition period as a result of companies change in fiscal year to december 31st from june 30th so six months think about what they have been doing in terms of the performance Successive record revenue of approximately 187.9 million. Massive. The revenue increase was 1125% which is even massive because if they change their EBITAs right now, their adjusted EBITA $5 million. Remember, they make money on digital, not really on human resources. So they have an opportunity for the exponential growth. Now, if they do exponential growth, their revenue with their profitability, both are going to skyrocket. Adjusted EBITA, approximately 5 million. They have always had an opportunity to work on EBITA, but if they spike their revenue or if the pump their revenue, EBITDA just does not matter for all these digital firms and technology companies as you already know. Continued strong revenue growth in new revenue streams. Now, overall, the technology market and the digital market, advertising market, everything is struggling at the moment. The worst is not really yet to come. It has been the past and now we are trying to stabilize into the market and there is a strong possibility that we will rebound and the market will look a lot better from this price point. Now, growing demand for preference solution or pre performance solution within the home improvement, residential services, legal and professional services sector. You already know that there is a turbulence into the home mortgage market in the financial industry and retail. Now that is getting a lot better which means people or all these companies were pouring less and less and less money in marketing. Now they have seen the rebound, right? All in all. Now with that rebound, this type of companies, TRKA, will profit or, or will benefit. Successful completion of restructuring of operations and cost optimization following the acquisition of coverage. And we have seen that as part of their adjusted EBITDA, which is right here, because they are working pretty closely on their EBITDA. And if you think about either EBITDA, right? here you should be able to see that in q3 the ebitda was 9.45 million 
and now it's 5 million before that they have a huge EBITDA of 7 million relatively compared to their revenue before that in Q1 their EBITDA was negative 11.41 million so all in all you need to consider that they're working on improving themselves and here are the numbers revenue numbers 187.9 million 2021 15.3 million and the change is um, almost 172 million dollars in revenue in dollar value which is 1125 percent net loss that we had seen in 2022 9.5 million which was 6.2 million but always remember that they were working on their baselines in their infrastructure they were putting money into the product and technology that they're working on which is the difference of negative 3.3 million 53 percent their EBITDA they worked on 1.038 million which was negative 5.7 million in 2021 which is 118 percent and adjusted EBITDA is 208 percent so they have worked on what they really want to work on selling in general the administrative cost increased due to the transition period by 8.6 million which is 61 percent to 22 million when compared to the prior year so this all types of what you see right here is going to be sort of the challenges that they are trying to figure things out but why the stock is down overall the reason is the short sellers now there is a strong correlation and possibility of a short squeeze now when the short squeeze can happen so let's take a look furthermore outstanding shares 344 million their market cap is 79 million as you already know and with that so it's not a huge amount of shares that you're talking about but if you think all in all they are moving into the right direction they filed the s3 shelf registration uh, registration statement they're trying to create more and more transparency for the shareholders w what is happening behind the scene is their volume has been dropping now it's a good and the bad thing right when the market turbulence and when the volume drops you can expect that the stock price will decline especially if it's a penny stock the average volume 91 million the current volume on friday was 27 million now if you think about all in all compared to remember this 91 million number which is the average volume and we have been trending very very low compared to their average volume and uh, as a matter of fact we never crossed that 91 million of average volume in April we are 23 days in April and we had more than 14 days consecutive days of lower volume than the average volume of 91 million so take a look we had 126 million on March 30 30th we dropped to 53 million 44 million 23 million we dropped as low as 18 million in volume uh in mid-april april 13th and after that at that price point the price point was 26 cent now after that we saw lower and lower and lower volume 18.9 almost 19 million yesterday on friday it was 26 million so all in all we touched 20 cents now if you bought this stock at 20 cents congratulations to you you already have 15 percent in gain now what i'm thinking that you should think and again i'm not a financial advisor and uh, you want to do your own due diligence but let's take a look at the chart this chart looks pretty promising to me their moving average this is the red bar their moving average is 28 cents and right now we are at 23 cents we can quickly jump back up to 28 cents why because our rsi is looking pretty promising at the moment 46 rsi not an overbought not an oversold condition but at the same time let me go back to three month chart and let me just take it to one minute view so you should be also able to see even if we meet somewhere in the middle for 23 month chart we can see easily about 24 cents take a look we for the most part traded about the moving average we quickly went back down and dropped now if we even if we go above the moving average this is what the moving average that are, are the real-time price point that you should be looking at so if i just draw this chart in a way that you can see for one minute you really want to see that we can spike up to 26 cents pretty pretty quickly but that's not enough let me just show you really quickly year to date and you decide yourself so if i go to year to date and if i go back to one minute you should be able to see that how quickly we can jump up after this 26 cents so if we cross 30 cents and if we stay about this 30 cent level we can go quickly right here i really quickly wanted to show you 
which is not super clean and visible. Let me go ahead and refresh real quick. But my point is I did the, the analysis myself and I really want to show you that we want to stay above 30 cent. And after we are about 30 cents, we should be able to get a strong support. So right here, before we jumped up to the 77 cents, this is the price, this is the point that where you want to go really quickly and you want to sustain because uh, here, this is 30 cent, here, this is 30 cent, and here, this is 30 cent. After 30 cent, we got some support, but after we dropped out of 30 cent, we did not really have support and our let, latest support was around, um, as you see on my screen right here, let me show you, we did hit to 10 cents. Now we, after that, we got back up to 26 cents and we have struggled going above and beyond on 20 cents but if we can manage to stay above this 30 cents level which is right here or rather 32 cents that we are trying to go again here 30 32 cents we drop back again here 30 32 cents we drop back so 31 to 32 cents is what I consider as a strong resistance which is when we started seeing that the seller short sellers are becoming so pushy and once we cross that, we can easily go to 50 cent real quick, which is 100% return or maybe 150% return on the investment. Depends upon what price point you bought it. If you like this video, do hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.